Hi guys, Becky here, welcome to my channel. Christmas is getting closer by the day, which means that we get to do some lovely Christmas baking. A very common spice to use in Swedish Christmas recipes is saffron. And we have a very traditional pastry here called lussekatter, which is basically saffron buns. I do find that they are just a tiny bit dry, so I like to make a variation of these uh, called saffron swirls. Uh, and it's where you add an almond paste as a filling. Uh, I cannot take credit for this recipe, it's made by Leila Lindholm, a Swedish baker. Uh, I just love all of her recipes. Yeah, so there you have it, let's get to work. Start off by melting some butter. You also want to put in some saffron. Let it come to a boil. Okay, so what we're doing now is adding some milk and then we're adding some cream. It's perfect! That's the yeast. And then add the sugar. And also some salt. Okay, so what I'm using is called um, flour special, I guess, in English. And it means that the flour has more gluten, which um, means that the The dough will be able to bind together more easily and won't fall apart. Okay, so the kneading needs to be done now for about 10 to 15 minutes and you need to knead the dough well in order for the proteins to develop well uh, in the dough and um, you can just use your hands to knead, to knead it to work the dough or you can um, use a hand mixer with kneading hooks or dough hooks or whatever they are called uh, or a kitchen aid. Whatever you have at home. I feel like I've worked the dough enough now so I'm going to let it sit for about 45 minutes under a towel. All right, so as we are waiting for the dough to rise, uh, we're going to prepare the filling. Room temperature butter. Just cut the butter into pieces so that it will be easier to mix. All right, so this is almond paste and we are just going to <coughs> shred it with a grater. Okay, 
Then we're going to use raw sugar. Last but not least, we are adding some cinnamon. Our dough seems to be alive and well. I think we've gotten a nice rise into this. Now we're going to knead it a little bit and divide it into two. And then we're going to roll it out with our rolling pin. And then let's grab our almond mixture and spread it out. All right, so now we're gonna let these just rise for a bit longer, about 30 minutes. Now we're going to whisk together some egg and some milk to brush on the buns before we put them in the oven. And then we put on some, whoop, <laughs> some raw sugar on top. Just put them in the oven for about 13 to 15 minutes. Alright guys, these are done and ready to be served. What you can do before serving is to add just a dusting of powdered sugar on top and it will look just like snow. Alright guys, thank you so much for joining me in making this recipe. I really hope that you get to enjoy Christmas this year and can make the most out of it despite the circumstances that we're in. Yeah, so I really hope you have a very Merry Christmas. All right, bye-bye.